Today we're gonna to be making our very favorite homemade bread. We call it crusty bread, but you guys are gonna learn how to make professional looking bread right from your house. So let's get started. All right, you guys, this recipe is so easy, but it does take a little bit of planning because it takes time. But you can have that yummy, crusty, delicious bread available same day. It doesn't have to set up overnight. You don't have to knead it a bunch, so it's super easy. So let's get started. Okay, uh, let's go over ingredients first and like what you need to make this work. So there are only five ingredients in this bread. First is your all-purpose unbleached organic flour. You can use whole wheat, you can use spelt flour. We have made those before. My favorite is still the all-purpose unbleached flour. It just bakes up really nice and, and gets turns into a nice large loaf. You can absolutely make this recipe with whole wheat. It will be a smaller loaf, just to be aware. So we have our flour, we have our, our instant yeast, we have our sea salt, our honey, and eventually we're gonna need water, okay, warm water. So that is it, it is a very clean, healthy recipe. As far as tools that you're gonna need, you're gonna need a cutting board, you're gonna need uh, bowls depending on how many loaves you're gonna make. I'm gonna make two loaves today because we eat it all. Uh, you're gonna need your Dutch ovens. That is something that you're gonna need for this recipe, okay? You need to have that pan that has a lid to be able to have this cook properly. So I need, I'm using two Dutch ovens. You could rotate with one if you're making multiple loaves, but I have my two Dutch ovens ready here. Uh, you're gonna need parchment paper and you're gonna need plastic wrap and then everything else you could probably improvise with if you don't have it. So, all right, let's get started. Okay, so first step, I'm gonna get my bowls because I'm making two loaves of bread, So, I'm, but I'm gonna do the same exact thing in both of these bowls. So I'm just gonna tell you guys the single recipe and then it's easy enough to double. So you guys know how we store our flour around here. We have big old tubs of it because we love baking and making bread. So first I'm gonna start with three cups of flour. All right, I've got three and one. Okay, we've got three cups in each. We're gonna keep our flour out because we're gonna need that later. All right, so next we will do our salt. Uh, we use sea salt, you can use Himalayan pink salt, real salt, whatever you guys have in the house is fine. And we're going to use uh, two teaspoons of salt Sounds like a lot, but really, it, it doesn't even taste that salty. So one, two, um, and notice that I'm gonna put the salt on one side of the bowl, and then when we get to the yeast, I'm gonna put that on the other side. So we'll talk about that in a minute. Okay, three cups of flour, two teaspoons of sea salt, one teaspoon of instant yeast. I kind of do a little bit of a, a heaping. So salt's over here, the yeast is over here. I don't want the salt to deactivate the yeast. I want it to have an opportunity to kind of mix all at the same time, not be on top of each other. All right, so we've got our yeast there. We're gonna put in our raw honey. This is around a tablespoon. Okay, we've got our honey in there. All right, now I'm gonna go get a cup and a half of warm water, not scalding hot water, not cold water. You wanna have nice warm water to be able to activate that yeast. So I'm gonna put a cup and a half of warm water in each bowl. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, now we're going to stir these up, get them all mixed together, all the ingredients evenly combined and turn this into a dough. It seems dry at first, but then it is definitely a sticky dough and that's good, you want it to be sticky. 
But yeah, while you're getting the flour mixed in, you know, it's gonna look like right now, it looks very dry. I don't know if you can tell, but when I am done, you'll see that it gets sticky again once all that gets incorporated. Okay, see how it's really sticky now? Not dry, okay. I'm gonna do the same thing with my other loaf. This bread, uh, after like, so we usually make it fresh if we're having it for dinner at night or whatever. I'll make it during the day. Usually, actually, Marie makes it. Um, but sometimes we all have to, depending if other people are busy. But uh, we usually make it up and have it for dinner. And then if there's leftovers, if, I gotta say that. If there's leftovers, uh, it's awesome in the morning with to you know to toast it up with some butter and raspberry jam, strawberry lemonade jam, any of that stuff. It's just really good for breakfast too. All right, get this mixed in. This one is almost done. I want to wait till it gets sticky again. Okay, looks good. Okay, I'm gonna clean off my fork here. For now, the last step is to get your plastic wrap. You can also cover this with a towel, but we like to keep all that, you know, the warm water's in there, activating the yeast and getting all bubbly and letting it rise, all of that's happening. So we cover it with plastic wrap if you have it. If you don't, then you can, like I said, just use a towel and cover it up. And then we're gonna take our bowls and put, I'm gonna put them in the kitchen uh, just because it's warmer in there. It doesn't have to be in a hot place, but in, in a, not a cold place. You want this to rise for three hours at least. If you're in a pinch, uh, you can let it rise for less time. But for best <laughs> results, let it rise for three hours. And so that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna move it into the kitchen and I will check back with you guys in three hours. Okay, our dough has been rising for three hours. You can see it's about doubled in size, I would say. It looks really good. But um, next step is, and this is kind of important with the timing of things, I want you to go ahead and preheat your oven to 450 degrees. Go ahead and hit start. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our, if, if you're just doing one, that's fine. If you're doing two, we're gonna put our Dutch ovens in the oven as it's preheating and we want these to get up nice and hot. We want these to get to 450 degrees while we're doing all this other stuff. So let's do that real quick. Okay, so those are, are gonna heat up and the oven's gonna preheat all at the same time. And while, we're, while those are heating up, we're gonna go ahead and prep our dough. This is the only kneading <laughs> that you have to do on this dough, which is very, very minimal. So we're gonna take off our plastic wrap and we have our cutting board here. We're gonna flour our cutting board. We don't want dough sticking. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and get my dough on here. It's nice to have a spatula for this part. Scraper. And I'm just gonna flip it around a few times, get the dough to cover the whole outside so that it's not sticky on the outside. But literally, that is the only kneading that I'm going to do. That is it. Now, this is an important step, and I've got kind of a funny story. Um, I have made a crusty bread video one other time, and I forgot to explain this step. So mom, this is for you, because she called me and she told me, you forgot that step. <laughs> so here, here you go, mom, and everybody else. Um, okay, so once that is kneaded, barely kneaded, I'm going to go ahead and put this dough onto a piece of parchment paper and let it sit there, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and flour this again. Do my other loaf, because like I told you guys, we're doing two loaves for us. Might as well always make two and have one for yourself and make one for somebody else, even if you're not gonna eat it all, right? Okay, so very quickly, easily move that dough around, get the outside floured.
I really do like my bread scraper. It comes in handy with this in particular. You don't have to have it, but it does work and help out really nicely. Okay, so that's done. I'm going to put this loaf onto a piece of parchment. All right, now I'm going to go wash these two bowls because I'm gonna use those in just a minute and I will be right back. Okay, I have washed up my bowls that I had my dough in, and now just while I am waiting for my pans to come up to temperature, my oven to come up to temperature, I'm going to put our loaves in here so that they don't continue to spread, okay? So I'm gonna put them in these bowls, and then I'm gonna wait until my oven beeps and tells me that everything's at 450, and then I'll touch, uh, touch base with you guys, okay? Okay, my oven is preheated, my pans are preheated. So now I'm gonna take my, this whole thing, not, not the bowl, but I'm gonna take my parchment and my dough and each loaf and I'm gonna go ahead and put it into my Dutch oven and put the lid on and let it cook eat, or let it bake even with the parchment for 30 minutes and then I can let you know what the next step is. All right, our loaves of bread have been in the oven, in the Dutch ovens for 30 minutes. Now I'm going to remove the lids, I'm gonna remove the parchment, and I'm gonna put the loaf back in for another five to seven minutes to crisp it all up, and then the bread will be done. This is the best part right here. I don't see if you can hear it. That's why we call it crusty bread because it's so crunchy and beautiful on the outside. All right, these are done. They need to sit here for a few minutes before we try to cut into them, let them cool off a little bit, but then they're ready for dinner. They're ready to take to a friend, whatever you guys want to use them for. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Try it at home and let me know how you like it, and we'll talk to y'all soon.